uh, we're going to start tonight's public forum. Uh, and on the first list for February 10th, 2020, it is 645. And the first person signed up is Sean Poling. Sean, if you could, uh, if everyone, as, as their name is called, could just uh, kindly approach either one of the microphones and just state your name and address and for the record and uh, keeping it to uh, the council rules of three minutes. Thanks, Sean. Good luck with the three minutes. <laughs> I'll try my best, though. Sean Poling, uh, 110 Abram Street, Stratford, Connecticut. Our lives begin to end the day we become silent about the things that matter. My name's Sean Poling, and I won't remain silent. Just take one, pass one down. The matter in which I'm about to speak about not only affected my family, but nine other girls and their families as well. Um, I get emotional about what I'm about to speak about because it's important to me. Um, it, this is tough, real tough. I'm good right now, but I'm probably by the end of it, I will need it. Whew. It just, I sent this to, to, I believe, every one of you from my work email. Not sure if you got it, but that's why I printed it out so you could read it. And take your time and read it because it matters, and it truly does. And in a one-on-one -on -one meeting that I had with this, um, about this particular matter with Chris Termiak, he told me that recreation basketball was about that big to him. And after seeing Kobe Bryant and his daughter Gianna go through what they went through, basketball is much bigger than what the town of Stratford thinks or what he even thinks about. And I think the whole world thinks that too, especially that Sunday that we all grieved together. No matter what race, ethnicity that we had, we all came together on that Sunday and became one. I was removed from a, a volunteer position uh, after a video was posted um, and it was sent from one of my parents and I, I wasn't even in the video. I didn't have anything to do with the video. Um, honestly, the guy sitting behind me was in the video and he's a parent of one of my daughters. There was a lot of vulgar and hostility going back and forth and there was a decision made that I, I, it affected me and I wasn't even part of that video. And so I had a one-on-one -on -one and I, I expressed over and over again, you know, yeah, I am passionate about what I do. I do teach um, basketball. I, I am a very good coach. Um, but sports, sports got me to where I am today. And if it wasn't for sports, I probably wouldn't be standing here. I might be dead or in jail. I come from a broken home family. That was adopted. But on the flip side, I did go to college. I did obtain an undergrad. I did go to, on to grad school. I got my graduate degree in public administration. And it's all because of sports. And that's who I am today. And if it wasn't for sports, I wouldn't be here. I could tell you that right now. Um, this very room last year, I was awarded by the mayor for a leadership role that I played in a town for basketball. I took not only basketball, but I, I took the, the nine-year-old baseball team to the World Series. I, w I was the coach of that, too. I must be doing something right. But I, again, I do a lot of research on you know, what I'm passionate about, and I don't know what's true, what's not true, but there's a lot of rumors, and I, I never once in that, what I sent you, I never once put anything of my opinion in what I wrote. It was all facts, nothing but facts. But I'm about to tell you my opinion now it is wrong. And from my understanding, the superintendent of recreation, um, she got her job because she knew somebody. I don't think she has a college degree. I don't know what the qualifications were for that position, but from what I hear and what I understand, she was threatened because somebody such as my capability in a town, 
the knowledge that I have, the passion that I have, she felt threatened and she wanted to get remove me as fast as possible. And I won't go into great details. I hope you read it and take time of the bullying that took place week after week over and over again. And it was, she hired a director of basketball operations. And from my knowledge, there was, it was, he was able to use the gym for nonprofit organizations. He doesn't have a nonprofit ID number or tax ID number. And from my understanding, the town went through loopholes to, to, to make it happen. So there's a lot of back and forth between the town of Stratford. Um, I didn't even get a, a, an email back nor did my parents. My parents fought and sent email over and over again. If you go back to the back page, just look at, uh, on the back page, there's a couple pictures. And Sean, I'll give, you, I'll give you another 60 seconds if you can wrap up, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Those pictures are, are what I teach. Those are the girls that I, I coach over and over again with my own money, parties, books. That's the kind of character I am. I just hope that you, you take time and, and read what I wrote because it's important to me and the nine other families that were infected by this decision. And that's all I have. Thank you very much. Uh, next on the agenda, Linda Palermo. Linda, if you could come up and state your name and address for the record, please, ma'am. Good evening, Linda Palermo, 46 Vaught Place. I'm here to speak tonight as a result of a news article I saw that the Board of Education has come to the, to the council to do something with regard to the term limits for education because our children are not getting the education they should. As a person who wor worked very vehemently to get term limits done, we had over 7,000 people sign our petition so we could have those term limits. We must not disturb those term limits because it, does, it did two things. It took our fiscal year from April to July the 1st. The second thing it did, it put a cap on people being able to run for office year upon year upon year, there was one council person that that time sat for 14 terms. Now, that's denying somebody a right to be able to hold public office. Our children are getting an excellent education. The teachers get paid very well. This room was jam-packed when our previous mayor wanted to get his increases across, which he did. That made the taxpayers' taxes go up. Please do not disturb the term limits. Those are all signed in March of 1991, voted on at the polls by the citizens of this town. We need them in position. We need to look at why are the children feeling, or their parents feeling they're not getting a good education? Well. Teaching education starts at home, goes way back to the pop belly stoves. Let's not use our children to get what we want as ad some adults want. Please do not disturb term limits. Thank you very much. Thank you, Linda. Is there anybody else who has not signed up or had the opportunity to sign up for tonight's public forum that would like, would like to speak? Okay, seeing none. I'll call the public forum for the February, tw uh, February 10th, 2020 uh, meeting adjourned. <laughs>